It is exactly 40 years this 13th February 2016 when the people of Kano came out en masse to receive the corpse of their son and Nigeria's fourth leader after independence, General Multala Ramat Muhammad, who was assassinated in failed military coup. Kano is again at the same place where the late head of state was buried to offer special prayer to mark the occurrence of that sad event and for peace in Nigeria. The Emir of Kano, Muhammad Sunusi II, who led the Jumat prayer at the mosque hosting the late General's mausoleum, described him as national hero whose track record of performance within the short period of his reign still lingers in the mind of Nigerians. He prayed Allah to grant General Murtala Muhammad eternal rest and continue to give his family the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. One of the sons of the late head of state, Abba Rizkwa Murtala, says he feels proud of the fact that his father is still celebrated 40 years after. If you're a leader, you're leading the people, you must put the interests of the people before your own. And that is what he did. He believed that, you know, for us to have peace, progress, you know, we must have, you know, the interests of people, you know, at heart. More activities are slated by private organizations and groups to mark the 40th anniversary of the death of the late head of state, General Multala Ramat Muhammad. In Kano, Mohamed Balasani, NTA News.